Hello everyone, Mike Cardinals here, co-founder of Pat Trading Partners, along with Bob Iagino. All the levels have already been updated on the crypto charts. I did record another video a little bit ago, and the sound had problems, so I can't post it. And I've already updated all the levels, so instead of trying to go back and recreate everything, especially with this big rally, we're just going to look up the updated levels, and I'm really sorry about that. All right, so, nice big rally. Through our other GAN levels, you could update them multiple times using the shorter term charts. Now I've updated them again. Remember, we have this double bottom, which is now triggered. Let me start there on the daily chart because that's the bigger pattern. So you hear bottom over here from July 17th, second bottom from July 28th. We talked about this last week. Definitely close above that point. So the key levels for that, 12,100, 12,600. 13,100 are the key levels. 12,006 and the 12,100 are the higher probability levels. So, right now, we have to go back to the four hour. First level support we'll be watching for is about 11,600. Uh, 11,550 to 11,600 with the rising rotation zone. If we fell below that, we'd be watching back right around 11,250 and then 11,100. Those are all the levels to the downside. This is a very powerful move. Basing sideways right now, what we're gonna be watching for instead of a big pullback is the rising rotation zone and then propelling it higher. So above 11,945, which is the most recent swing high, as I said already, 12,100. Then we have the GAN levels. 12,300 and then that other forms as uh, cluster, I already mentioned the 12,600, and then we have a 12,650, so major area 12,600 to 12,650. Again, this is not a move to fade, and I don't think we're going to get a bigger based off the traditional way these moves have uh, reacted. This is the kind of thing that drifts sideways, rotation zone catches up, then we get another explosive move higher. Let's switch over to Ethereum. Also, I've already updated the levels too with the last video. So, uh, this is four hour chart right now just holding above our 232 level which is a 12 and a half percent retracement uh, again pulling back nicely at 12 and a half percent and now drifting sideways if we did break below there next major area is about 229.75 to 230 with the rising rotation zone below that i'd be watching the bottom of the rotation zone if we did pull back to about 224.50 but again, going to be watching as this rotation zone comes in with this explosive move higher to do the concept of eight pushing the price, which we've talked about many times in the past. So updating the levels, we now have a cluster up around 241.50 with the declining moving average 200 period simple and the 12 and a half percent projection and then 246.30 area. Let's check in that daily chart. Daily chart, let me expand it a bit. So... Just below this 12.5%, we have uh, the declining 50-day exponential. So I'd be watching anywhere from about 240.50 to 241.50. That would give a nice dollar window. And that's definitely an area to move up the stop on a continued rally above today's high. Also, the rotation zone coming in just below. Not We don't have a first cross yet, but the 21 coming in just below this 227 level. So I'd really pay attention on any pullback at that 227 level. So we have for you in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Sorry for the problems earlier on the other video. I hope this one still helped with the updated levels and we'll talk to everyone soon. Bye for now.